good day to all we'll discuss facility planning and layout what do you mean by facility planning you are going to decide where your plant is going to be which which may be india it may be in some other country then where are you going to house your other facilities like buildings machinery this is what we plan to cover during this session facility planning why is it becoming a necessity you may be operating in particular condition the labor cost in that area might have become a change factor you find suddenly there is a unionized activity so there is a sudden jerk of labor for example uh, there are several shoe factories in near uh, ambur um, about 150 kilometers from chennai and um, that we found uh, the lot of people have started uh, shoe factories so the progressively the labor cost has gone up so people are now started migrating to other places to start shoe industry there are people who have even started shoe industry in jammu jammu similarly raw material and supporting services may often change you may be getting the raw your raw material nearer your factory suddenly there may be a change in raw material availability would have shifted so in such a situation you need to relocate your facilities product market also may change suddenly demand may shift you may you might have found tire to industry particular type of product was not selling now you find tire to industry also is using it in that situation point of the, uh, sale is very close you shift your factories closer to that for example one of the uh, method followed by madura coats they used to produce the yarn at a central place and the dyeing plants were spread over all india point where the sale is going to take place there are some garment factories which wants those um, yarn they set up only a dyeing unit so th there was a change needed to relocate it for to accommodate this companies may split new companies may come in and certain facilities may because you have already got a redundant the, the new factory with which you acquired it has already got these facilities so you, you don't want to have them so you need to change similarly new products may be introduced you have been producing a one type of product new type of products have come in some companies have started we were working on tvs we went in for some home appliances home appliances calls for a different set of machinery so they have to sit, shift the entire new plant similarly this is another becoming a major issue political and legal requirements becoming very tough some of the places where you find the governments are very very friendly for example gujarat is a very family a very friendly state in terms of uh, manufacturers whereas there are very militant problems in terms of the militancy in terms of uh, uh, formation of uh, new plants in west, Be west bengal you know the classic example of nano factory how it was could not be started in west bengal and has to be shifted to other place like, like gujarat facility planning has four levels before we go into individual level let's look at what are the four levels global global means whether you should want to have the plant in china indonesia india mexico site itself macro planning is within mexico within japan whether you should be within china you should it be in guangzhou project state or some other place site then micro having decided that will be in in this place it will be in gujarat or it will be in particular part of uh, mexico or it's going to be in guangzhou in that case what type of buildings where it should be exactly located and further drilling down what type of machinery is to be placed which department should come where all these things are covered at this level so facility planning has four levels now let's look at the different levels and what are the types of activities are involved in these levels globally first where are the sites going to be world or country as i was telling you world is also now a big open with web, web connectivity and information highways world is a global village so you don't have to worry which part of world you are in you can have your 
um, you can there are companies which manufacture a product in one place buys material from some other place for example let's take the, my own experience on mother of coats we used to buy uh, cotton from australia manufacture that uh, yarn in, in india get it uh, woven in one another country sell it as garment in another country so it can be a different geographical spread then once once you decide the macro layout has to be done what type of site is to be done which are the department engineering department utilities department uh, workshop uh, infrastructure if they are going to have a colony what type of colony should be there and some recreation facilities all have to be decided here then we go into micro level you give it an architecture fellow will decide what should be the type of ventilation what should be the factory layout how the workstation should be there and within the workstation in a department whether you are going to go for an assembly line how the assembly lines going to be there parallelly how they are going to be operate what are where are the stores going to be located how people will use the basic utility and fa uh, other facilities like toilets and others so that you need to position all these as a part of the facilitating facility planning matrix at the global level the geographic coverage of a production capacity the source of input i think when the materials moments are going to be very high particularly like cement plant you you will find most of the cement plants where the bulk of the uh, raw materials limestone is up north in india because it is very expensive to tra transport basic raw material like limestone across the country similarly it may be based on um, skill availability i was talking to you about the ambur shoe manufacturing ambur belt has developed over 20 or 25 years extraordinary skill in terms of manufacture of shoe uppers and so consequently they were originally exporting uppers now they have become specialists in shoe manufacturing globally all the brands in the world some or other is produced in ambur freight cost now in the total cost uh, supply chain cost if freight is going to be a major issue for example singapore became very important thing because the singapore airport is a one of the most modern port and freight handling so superb the total freight cost is very less but if you are going to uh, import uh, material from some other place and going to have transshipped man from one port to another port it's going to wait and its the cost is going to be high you need to also understand the freight cost there is very so market uh, is your market uh, where the manufacturing you manufacture somewhere you market it elsewhere the the transportation cost of the end product particularly if it's a fragile product it's going to be a very major expense so you need to consider this aspect while deciding your plant location and government regulation uh, government says these are relevant standard we will be covering this aspect and legal aspects of the governmental policies at length this gives you an idea where certain government doesn't even for example in if you want to have a plant in us the us labor laws are so stringent it is very difficult to have a manufacturing plant in any part of us